Hello, I am Vishali. Today I am here with a new video. The video is on dynamic programming and today we will discuss about how to solve a LPP by the help of dynamic programming concept. Okay. So we have a given question. The co in the question, it is the LPP is given. The objective function is of maximization type. We have two given constraint and depending on the two decision variables that is x1 and x2 which is greater than equal to 0. So this is the question is given to us and we have to solve it by the concept of dynamic programming. If you have seen my previous videos I have explained you that in case of dynamic programming we have to do it in a two steps. First we have to create a functional equation for each stage and then we have to check for the optimality solution of the decision variables. So same we have to follow the steps here. Okay, now let us start. As the two constraints are given, so they are also called as two resources. We have two constraints or two resources and it is depending on the two decision variables. Now as two decision variables is there, so th this is the question in which we will consider two stages. That is j always represent a stage, so j equal to 1 comma 2. Now the stage of dynamic program are these two states we have considered but this is not stage this is state S-T-A-T-E please correct this okay. So we have assumed two dummy state beta 1j and beta 2j so j equal to 1 or 2 we will just put when we are uh, calculating the values for individual stages okay. So beta 1j and beta 2j for j equal to 1 comma 2 I am just repeating it again it is dummy stages states states s t a t e s okay now let's start for stage 2 j equal to 2 that means for stage 2 we have to write a function function f2 on the in the bracket i have written beta 1 2 and beta 2 2 that is j become 2 okay the right hand side of the function value we obtain from the objective function objective function that means we have to write the value of the x2 that is 9 x2 Okay, so I have written max 9x2. Now after this we have to consider what should be the variation, what is the values of x2 so that we can obtain the optimal value of x2. So that we will just consider with respect of the constraint. See the first constraint. The x2 value can vary from 0 to 25 if we put x1 equal to 0. Now x2 value can vary 0 to 11 in second constraint. So these are two inequalities we obtain. That is x2 is less than 25 and x2 is less than 11. On behalf of these two constraints, uh, inequalities we can obtain the value of x2 so that's why i have written f2 beta 1 2 comma beta 2 2 e equal to 9 max in the bracket 25 comma 11 okay now after this since maximum value of x2 satisfying the conditions x2 less than 25 and x2 less than 11 is minimum offset means we want that value of x2 which can satisfy these two given condition is the minimum value. The minimum value of x2 can only satisfy these two condition and that minimum value of x2 is 11 because we know that 11 is less than 25 and 11 is equal to 11. So 11 is that value of x2 which is optimal for the this problem so we put x2 star that means the value of x2 is 11 i hope this is clear to you okay so now after this we have to work for state stage 1 okay for that j will become 1 first we have to write the functional equation so f1 inside the bracket i have written j beta 1 1 comma beta 1 2 now right hand side we have to write the objective function value x1 plus 9 x2 so x1 i have copied like that x1 plus x2 i will be 9 x2 will be replaced by its functional value okay f2 and inside the brackets is 9 x2 is replaced by its functional value now what should we write inside the function value see the constraint constraint 25 we assume the value of 25 as beta 1 1 okay and 11 as beta 2 1 okay putting them on a right hand side in constraint now taking x1 on right hand side so we will get the value of x2 x2 is equals to beta 1 1 minus 2 x1 x2 is equals to beta 2 1 minus 0 okay so these are the two values okay now after this we have maximum value of x1 so maximum value of x1 can be taken by so what should be the maximum value of x1 see you can calculate the value of x1 x1 is equals to 25 by 2 when we put x2 equals to 0 we will get x1 is equals to 25 by 
2 so this only the value on between which the x1 can vary between 0 to 25 by 2 now see second constraint does not contain the value of x1 it does not contain the variable x1 so we will not consider the case of second constraint so that's why we only get the value from first now as we have assumed beta 1 1 equal to 25 and beta 2 1 equal to 11 i have told you that time so i have written these values in the left hand side of the function f1 bracket 25 comma 11 now max x1 plus 9 min so i have replaced the value of beta 1 1 and beta 2 1 everywhere okay so we get new functional equation now uh, we will solve it in a part now first we have to get the value of 9 min 25 minus 2 x 1 comma 11 so here if we solve this 25 minus 2 x 1 comma 11 first we put 7 if we put 7 in x1 value we what we'll get we get 11 11 so 11 will be the common value so that's why you can think that we have divided it in a two part 0 to 7 limit and then 7 to 25 by 2 these are the two ranges of x1 0 to 7 and 7 to 25 by 2 when we put 7 we will get the values as 11 11 so minimum value will be a common value which is 11 okay in the case of x1 varies between 0 to 7 when x1 varies from 7 to 25 by 2 okay the so minimum value will be 25 minus 2 x1 okay now we add x1 plus this bracket part min 9 25 minus 2 x1 comma 11 the right hand side you can see we just added x1 plus 9 into 11 from the range between 0 to 7 of x then we have just copied it full you can see it properly okay and solve it Now after solving this, this val first value we obtain is x1 plus 99, next value is 225 minus 17 x1 which occurs at x1 equal to 7. Okay, so we have to, we get two values in the two range. Now we have to find the maximum value, okay, of x1 plus 99 comma 225 minus 17 x1 with the maximum value. See maximum value out of these two is their maximum value is occurring at 7 ok so that's why we have written when we put x equal to 7 both are 11 11 so we have written that ok so when we put when we get the minimum value 11 we will get the final functional value the f1 will become 106 so for that x1 is 7 now after this you can say x2 is equals to something we have written and x1 is 7 you can ask me why you have written x2 again because x2 we have already calculated see x2 value we have already calculated as 11 but here we are just if you want to cross check whether the answer is correct or not so we have put the x2 x1 value as 7 25 minus 2 into 7 comma 11 so you will get x2 value as 11 we obtain the x2 value as 11 so by this also it's confirmed that we have done the question correct okay so x1 value is 7 and x2 value is 11 now putting these two final values the optimal values to obtain the value of objective function when we put x1 and x2 value in the objective function we get the final value of z okay so please practice few more questions of this type if you have any problem, you can just post a comment and please like, subscribe and share my videos if you feel it is helpful for you.